Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Pophology. In our last video, we understood the user interface of Postman. In this video, we'll see how to configure a request in Postman. So to create a request, you have to click on this new option. After that, you have to click on this create a basic request option. Over here, you have to provide the request name. I will give the name as test request. In request description, you can provide a description of the request, which is an optional thing. So we'll skip that. And at the bottom, you will have to create a collection. So I'm creating a collection by name test collection. So our collection has been created. And after we click on the save option, this test request will be saved to test collection. So let's click on this option. So now over here you can see our test collection is created and inside this test collection you can see this test request. So let's open this test request and inside this test request as of now there is no such URL been provided over here. So let's provide a URL. And click on send button. So after clicking on send option, you can see the request is executed. And over here, the first option is body. So in body, this is the response body which we got. And in this pretty option, basically your response will be shown in a formatted manner. And also different color formats has been used for representation of the response in this pretty option in the raw option your response will be basically represented in a single line without any color formatting in preview the response will be similar to your browser response how the url shows the response in your browser so that response you can see over here in the preview option the second option over here is cookies so any cookies with respect to this url it will be shown over here in headers, this is the response headers with respect to this request. And over here, you can see it is also giving us the status of our execution of the request, which is 200, which means we have successfully executed the HTTP request. Get the total time execution of this request. And it also gives you a breakdown of that total time consumed by this uh, request. So over here, you can see in socket initialization, it took around 1.36 milliseconds. Similarly, in DNS lookup, it took 218.53 milliseconds. In TCP handshake, it took 297.7 milliseconds. Similarly, in transfer start, it took around 331.38 milliseconds. And in download, it took 60.65 milliseconds. So the addition of all these response times is basically a complete total response. So our total time to execute this request was around 929.47 milliseconds. Over here you can see the size, the size of your response body. It is around 6.6 .6 KB. So this size is basically the size of this request. Size of this request, it is 6.6 .6 KB body took around 6.24 KB and the headers which are over here this headers took around 367 bytes so 6.6 .6 KB is the total size of the response you can also save your response as an example for future reference so if I click on this save as example option you can see the response has been saved over here so you can refer this response in future you can also save this response to an external file so over here you can give a name and click on save button this response will be saved as an external file so these were the few options uh, which you get in the response when the request is executed so this was just a sample google url now let us configure one more request 
so to add one more request into this test collection you will have to right click on this test collection and click on add request so over here you can see one more request has been created I have one sample request so we'll copy paste this in the request URL so anything after question mark in the URL it is basically the parameters which is been passed with this uh, URL so the postman has automatically added those parameters inside its params option so our request is ready let's again click on send option so now you can see the status of the request is 200 ok which means our request is successfully executed it took around 543 milliseconds and the size of the res response was 1.91 kb and this is the response of the request similarly over here if you see there are different options using which you can re represent your response and this option is basically to wrap the response so you can click on this and it will be wrapped so this was how you can basically configure or you can create a request in postman and execute it by clicking on the send option and analyze the response which you are getting if you find this video helpful do like share and subscribe our channel pophology and thank you for watching